Hey, welcome to the Ranger Rob channel with Rob and Sherry. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hello everyone, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to Central Oregon Living. And uh, today was kind of an interesting day. Did you know that there's a freezer shortage? For those of you who don't know it, uh, in smaller towns like ours, uh, you can't find upright freezers and we've been looking about replacing the one that's been in the garage and uh, also uh, so we looked all over and then we did see a good sale on a, uh, a chest freezer at Costco uh, a few days ago and you saw the video about that um, anyway we went to go pick one up it was a seven cubic foot for 159 it was a good price and they're all gone <laughs> it's like crap so luckily while we we're in town uh we uh decided to go to best buys and they said they had a seven cubic foot in stock and we get there and there's nowhere to be found luckily we sent the little guy in the back <laughs> and he found it and it was the only one they had so we snagged it I had to pay a little more than we would have paid for costco and uh so we uh, now have a new 7 cubic foot chest freezer um, to put into the garage over here. We have a little bit of room. <laughs> we'll put it there. And uh, so that's the puppy right there. Well, I get it unloaded and opened up and set up and the whole works. And it's like, what's the big deal about the freezer, Rob? So the reason for the new freezer is because you guys know I'm concerned about and you should be concerned about our future food shortages that could come and especially on meat and things like that so uh, a month ago at a meat market uh, near us here I uh, asked her if she would uh, put her name in on anybody who was selling you know uh, selling beef like a half a beef a whole beef a whole or a quarter beef and uh, I finally got that phone call so we are picking up our first quarter beef from a, like a 850 pound uh, cow uh, from Prineville, which is not that far away. And it'll be processed not too far away from here. And uh, we're paying 350 a pound for hanging weight, a quarter of that. And uh, then we have to pay like 80 cents a pound for the wrapping of uh, the meat. And we pick it all cut up and we didn't have the storage for that, that amount of meat. We don't know what the total amount will be. So uh, I'm very happy about that. So here's the interesting statistic. So the gal told me her cow, uh, if she was to process it herself and uh, do the you know, butchering all that, it could cost up to about $3,000 for about an 850 pound cow. And uh, the store, if they got an 850 pound cow and wrapped it out and sold it, it would be worth $10,000 as opposed to $3,000. So there appears to be a little bit of savings there. So uh, that's one way to look at it. Anyway, we're very excited. Um, I'd like to get stocked up more on, uh, on beef. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting stocked up a little bit more on pork. And uh, wouldn't mind actually stocking a little bit more on chicken. Uh, just because who knows what the future is going to bring. So I thought I'd share that with you. And, and, and I, I like to be, if I, if I practice what I preach. So, you know, not everybody's available to do this. Um, but if you're in a region that may have some local farmers around, uh, put the word out that you're interested in uh, going half on a real cow. And, uh, uh, or a whole cow. Whatever you can store and afford um, it's a good idea and you know where your meat's coming from and that's the important thing so I thought I'd uh, share that little uh, endeavor with you and in the meantime mean sure you gotta get this thing unloaded get it in the garage hooked up and running make sure she's running good and uh, then we got lots of projects to do today we got a uh, our lumber to uh, a 2 by 12 to make a little ladder for our little chickens to get up into our house and a few little touch-ups on the house. Um, all the locks are on. Sherry put the new uh, shower rubber 
protection thing um, on the floor. I'll show that to you later. And uh, we're ready to rock and roll and we're ready to get those babies in here. The weather's warming up. We want to make sure they're not too shocked. Last night was their first night without a light on all night. Uh, next morning they're perfectly fine. So they're uh, in the next few days they should be winterized, you might say, or climatized uh, to go into their new coop. And we're very excited. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. And uh, uh, think about maybe beefing up your, uh, beefing up your uh, storage on meat. Uh, Lord knows what's, you know, already the prices are going up. So uh, I don't know what the future has to bring, but I'd rather be ahead of the ball. And uh, uh, I kind of like to see you guys kind of be ahead of it too, so you guys don't get burned. So uh, anyway, guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. And don't forget to say hello in the comments below. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.